I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series to prepare for multiple choice test questions. Now I have taken up this particular example where we are going to convert a repeating decimal to vulgar fraction. Now vulgar fractions are common fractions. So you could write here common fractions or just fractions, right? Or just fractions. The question for us is to convert 6.534 recurring into a vulgar fraction. Four choices are given to us. Now we'll do it in two different ways. One will apply the trick to do it. And then we'll apply a method to do it. So in this particular exercise, we'll also practice and see how the trick can be applied. So we'll take up four other examples to just convert using the trick. Okay? You can always verify your solutions with the help of a calculator. So that's the whole idea. So let me just share the trick first to get the answer. 6.534 means we have six holes, right? And now we have to get something in the numerator and something in the denominator to represent 534. So what do we get in the numerator is 534. Take away the number which is not being repeated, which is 5 here. And we have to divide by how many numbers are repeating? 3 and 4 is repeating, right? So 3 and 4 is repeating. That is, we'll replace 3 and 4 both by 9s. So we'll have two 9s. And numbers without repeating and after decimal is only 1. So that becomes the answer. So if you look into this, you know, 534 minus 5 is 529 over 990. So that is the answer, which is option B for us. So this is a very shortcut method which gives you the answer immediately. Now let's look into the methods. Now 6 point means we have 6 holes, right? So that is okay. Plus we want to find what is 0 0.534 where 3, 4 is repeating decimal. So we'll work with 0 0.534. So let x be equal to 0 0.534 recurring. Now we can multiply this by 1000. So we get 1000x is equal to 534.34 recurring. Correct? Now we have to somehow get rid of this 34 recurring. So we what we will do is we will multiply x by 10x. Now this is a very very standard method. Right? So when you multiply by 10x this number, you get 5.34 recurring, correct? Now, when you take away, what do you get? When you take away, you get 990x equals to, and when you take away this, the recurring part cancels. You get 534 minus 5. Do you see that? 534 minus 5, which is 529.0. Do you see that part? And then x, of course, will be equals to 529 divided by 990. So we get the same answer. So you get the idea. So all this procedure can, in short, be summarized by the shortcut method. So in the shortcut method, what we have done here is anything before the decimal is a whole number. So that is 6. Now, there are three digits out of which 34 repeats right so 534 minus what is not repeating which is 5 divided by number of digits repeating are replaced by nines and all other digits are replaced by zero we get 990 and that is how we immediately get our answer so i hope the method is well understood correct now let us do some more questions just to practice Okay, so these are more examples for you to practice. We need to write down the answer here, right? Now, in this particular case, we have 
0.7 recurring. So what should this be equal to? Well, this is 0. So it's just a fraction. So it is 7 minus numbers which are not repeating are none in this case. And since 7 is the only one which is being repeated, we should divide by 9. So the answer is 7 over 9. Is that clear? Now here, one whole, right? So we have 23. From 23, we have to re uh, subtract the number which is not being repeated, which is 2. And divide by 3 recurring means 9. And 2 is not recurring, 90, right? So we get this as 1, 21 over 90 as our answer. Do you get the idea? So it is as fast as this. Now here three holes, 4, 6, 7. So we'll do 4, 6, 7, take away what is not repeating. 4 is not repeating, divided by 67 is repeating. So we'll write 9, 9 for 67 and 1, 0 for 4. So what we get here is 3 and the numerator should be 463 divided by 990 correct i hope you got the process now let's do the last one four here two four and one these are repeating anyway in the numerator you will write two three four one and then take away the number which is not repeating which is two divided by how many nines three nines and one zero you get an idea so this is four whole and we have 23, 39 divided by three nines and a zero. You get it. So that is how we could immediately write the answer. So in any multiple choice question, when you get such types of questions, it could be answered in no time. You could verify using calculators, not a bad idea. So let's do the last one verification. Two, three, three nines. We'll just do two, three, three, nine divided by triple nine zero is equal to what? So in decimals, we get this as two, three, four, one recurring. Do you see that part? Two, three, four, one recurring. So that is how you get your answers. I hope this trick is well taken care of. And that is how for a multiple choice question, you should be answering. And it should not take more than few seconds to answer any question relating to converting repeating decimals to rational numbers or fractions, as we have seen. I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. Feel free to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and all the best.